people talk, people gap, people persuade, people alienate, people abuse. I don't accept abuse. People call people to realization. I cut people off the abuse. There are times to whisper, there are times to speak at a reasonable volume, and sometimes I have discovered. Yeah, that one is no I'm more. I'm trying to discover my natural way of being. What are you doing? Get that I'm trying to off. discover my higher calling and purpose. What Not the one? will or the purpose that I would choose for myself. So not Elvis. But the will and the purpose that is natural to me. Trying to figure out not where I want to put myself in the universe, but coming to the realization that it's about finding out where the universe has already placed me and exactly made me exactly as how I should be. Purpose built for this round of incarnation. Whether it is true that laws of karma and soul contract abide and abate through a true astral metaphysical underpinning of life, or if it is just Accidents in time, there are no chaos and contingency Asshole. that we look back upon and understand and read into narrative. <laughs> it is self saying I yell because it's my job. Louder again. At a time and a place. Sometimes these things, he changes it up. Where the lack of high volume screaming. Usually the albums are all on the same volume. And gendered and know, brought forth up and down. a lovely, beautiful community. He, he thinks it's his community and he brought it together. Where but things were occurring. The Satanists that were doing the dirty deal. Secret sense. Cheap, and you want to run it. Left in the dark. person across a room seeing a pickpocket reach into a poor man's jacket. Like a small wimpy kid out of place looking across the high school party and seeing a hand creep into an unconscious girl's panties. Oh, you mean at the dentist when I was little and they fucked up my mouth. Right. I know. Not because it occurred to them to do it, not because they thought to do it, but because they realized that they were screaming and yelling at the exact same point as everyone else. The minute anybody got me behind me at the dentist office, I was put out, and that's when they did all that weird work to my teeth, like Randy Morgan's guest, sister, you know, remember? Because I'm sure you already saw it today. She talked about it. A woman that uh, went into the nunnery out of high school, um, went to study under some monks. She wanted to be a monk and be a part of what she would call the world. But anyhow, while she was there, the priest grabbed her left boob. And from there, the story unfolds. It's Randy Morgan off Planet's newest video. You guys should watch it. It's serious business. And it'll tell you how this has happened here in these here fucking United States that are no such thing. And you know it because you're one of them, Channer. You're one of their fucking butt boys. Otherwise, you wouldn't spew such hate and misinformation. And then you say you're sorry and you don't mean it. And I don't even associate with people like that. And I don't have to, and you can't make me. Right. No needles. And I got no, no you. No. 
because a kid is playing too close to the third rail or too close to the edge of the cliff. You gonna blame me for my mom burning me now, you son of a... It wasn't my fault that my mom dumped boiling water on me either. And to turn this around on somebody is the most sick, twisted thing that anybody could do. Slinking and crawling towards Bethlehem. I gotta yell. So I'm a baby and I just got born. I gotta yell because I just lost something precious. I gotta yell. Because this is serious business. Mm -hmm. People lose their lives. That's right. Sometimes slowly. Slow kill, like sometimes St. Louis. Quick. Yes. All these things were discussed today. I gotta yell because somebody's gotta do it. Yeah. I gotta yell because it's natural. Yeah. Cats meow, dogs go wolf, birds tweet, and C.W. Chanter yells. No, C.W. Chanter plays angry video games and watches I gotta yell porn because exploiters that at the same exploiters. time. You admitted it. I gotta yell because I'm trying to wake them up to the things that are going on. So, in case you were curious, in case it was a question you wanted to ask. That's why. That's off the dome, brothers and sisters. And we're going to get to when we get the haters roll call. Chris Zuger, the reason I've got more viewers than you, Chris Zuger, the re reason you're never going to be CW champion, you're going to spouse okay. hate. Hey, Chris, Chris, Chris. The reason I'm nobody is because I have very few subscribers on my YouTube. And Channel Lot has 3,000. So if you don't have. 3,000, he feels you're insignificant. Now, if you be his friend and you got 10,000 viewers, he will suck your dick. And he said it, and he will sell out, and he will do whatever you need him to do. These are all in his videos. But we'll get there, Chris Zuger. We'll get there. Right now? Stay strong, Chris. Having talked about explain why I yell? I'm going to turn my attention back to the live chat where people will be able to ask me questions about what I just said, what I'm about to say, or anything else under the sun. If you want me to know that it's a question or comment for me, put it in all caps. Put it in all caps. Don't make Robert Elder break the bank. Where's my just music? Just super chat and highlight in yellow. The fact that if you got a question, put it in all caps. Oh my God. And it's not just that I keep on saying this, that everyone on YouTube keeps on saying it. I'm going to put my attention back in the live chat. I'm going to take a minute, a second. Because there's a little bit of a delay, you know, between when I engage and when it, the ones and zeros actually hit you. Right. You know the algorithms because you guys are hackers. Been hacking my shit. <laughs> Solar Marshall, don't get me excited. Donald Marshall, oh God, Omar Corona, blast from the past. Omar Solar Corona Marshall is writes, Biggie Boho. He is a bot. He is an identity. And I take him on anytime Solar Marshall, I can. Chandra, big news tomorrow. Joanne Richards is going to come out as Big Joe Richards. You got me excited because because it said big big news about Joanne Richards. Don't tease, don't tease the chant there. Crystal ASMR, CW, what is your favorite color? The Get him, Crystal. Green, really, shades of green are my favorite <laughs> color because I heart recognize those as healing colors. Um, shades no, of green, blue green is very, very nice to me. Um, like a, like a uh, kind of a, like a teal or turquoise. Look what he's got or, on um, tonight, red. You know, like, uh, oh, like 1950s, 1960s, black. like pastels, black. you know, avocado green or aquamarine, you know, or, or things like that. Things that are like, you know, foresty, oceany blues and greens. Foresty and oceany blues speaking and about greens. Me I'm not partial to purple. I'm not partial He's to purple. He's talking about beauty um, tips right now. I like now. purples, I, there's no colors that I dislike, but I really like uh, relaxing blues and greens. Like that's where I would chill. That's where my magical, magical spectrum would be. And, um, Ah, cliff eye. Green is the color of the most receptors in the human eye. Make of that what you will. Um, 
Nahida Tamara, are you an experiencer? So many different ways to understand that. Um, as far as seeing extraterrestrial life, um, there was a moment at a party. Let me, let me. When you were drunk and high and on pills. Help do for you a scene. And you saw something. Uh, Robert Elvin, what is the Crystal ASMR CW chapter collaboration happening? I don't know. Crystal ASMR, we need to, we need to connect on Skype or DM or something. Um, experiencer, I'll tell you a story. True story. CW is pro. It's an outdoor party. You're not kidding, Rooster. Okay. He likes it up the air. I'm engaged in certain activities. For the life of me, I can't even tell you. Like, I believe it was... I, I really can't tell you. Like, I, I, I can't remember if it was Pennsylvania or New York State. It's a brown dirt road. It's an outdoor party. There's a ship and running on through a pair of underwear. The various, you know, stages or staging areas or, or rooms, as they say. Uh, was an outdoor area that involved, uh, it was, it was like a, a, a lot of sand. I don't know, forget why, I have no idea why, if it was like an aquarium or something. And there was a dirt road, and people were walking back and forth on this dirt road. And, um, there were kids all over the place, you know, various distractions, lights, people brought their own lights. There was a lot of, a lot of people were like going crazy. It was fun. And I was standing there, and there was this like area, and there was occasional car, you know, coming down that was illuminating even more. But then there was overhead lighting that was that was the, providing the most light. These weren't street lights; these were brought in on generators. And the light was down on, on you know, on the road. It was a very weird. It was a very weird scene. It looked like it looked to me a lot like. Um, like what you'd imagine a crash military and that's like a fast set up military field operation would look like you know what i mean mm -hmm. lots of like equipment set up quickly and haphazardly around the place flood lighting um nothing for aesthetics or aesthetic effects in this area just it was a utility right and i'm sitting there i'm, no, I'm standing and there's people all over and this thing crosses across the road. And I was looking at it. And I could tell that other people were looking at it too. And this had to be like, this was like, it had to have been like 1996 at the earliest, 1997 at the latest, right? Because based on time and setting and where I wasn't on the ship. And I'm looking at the, I'm kind of like looking at the road kind of like across the way. I'm just like looking and there's people on this side, there's people on this side, there's people walking back and forth. Some people are dancing and it's, it was screwed up. You know what I mean? I, I was off, I was out of my mind, whatever. Right, you're away. So. And this thing crosses the road. A chicken? And it didn't look like an alien, like a gray alien. It looked like. Draw us a picture. I don't have a pen. Oh, on your desk? No pen? It looked like a, like, you ever see those bird puppets where it's like, you know, like the, the, the wacky head is all the way out here, then there's like a long, you know, stringy thing that's the deck. Ew, and then there's the, the little body with the plumage nose. at the end. Listen to and then the it's got like change. legs and they're all, they're like, you know, the, the legs are like solid at the bottom, like wooden things, and then the, the stringies are like, you know, like the, the tassels or the, Boa like things or the or the legs and it's dancing around. It was like that. It was a series of long stringy things interconnected, yes. and it seemed to. But there was no one operating it. I would look up to see everyone, was, and I wasn't the only one that saw it. And we all looked at it. and We're all like, "What?" And people were like, "Oh, my God, it's an alien!" And then people were like, "It's a puppet! It's a puppet! It's a puppet!" I just remember people being. I remember people freaking out and being like, "It's an alien." And I remember other people freaking out and being like, it's a puppet. It's a puppet. It's a puppet. It's a thing. We're at a party. They did have, there were a group of people there that were all doing like this kind of this like art installation type of experience. Like, like they weren't just <clears throat> like this is how they do it. The story goes on so long that it's just mumbly pig and Babylon. Nothing makes sense. And it's talking shit. 
you know, like they had accoutrement on that flute, like that was like like Bob Mackie, long ostrich feathers and shit. So I was looking at this thing, and it was just like, it was incredible. I was like looking at this thing, I was like, dude, I was like, what is that thing? And my friends were like, what is that thing? And we were like, because there was no one operating it. And this is like the 1990s, so if it happened today, I would have thought, okay, it's, it's drones. Like they've got a computer program that can orchestrate several small drones, and that's what's operating it and making it ambulate across the road, ambulate across the road. But Scout's Honor, I mean, I looked at this thing and I thought, wow, I have no idea what that thing is. You know what I mean? And I have no idea if some strange hey, alien life crossed over that road at that time, right. trying to get from point A to point B. I don't know if it showed up at the party and wanted to party. I don't know if it was a, we'll find uh, out. a manifestation sure or like a tulpa that, that came to be as, as a result of other people's everyone fantasizing about it. I don't know if it was a puppet, right? Or some sort of other mechanical contraption. He's got a wishbone in his pocket. That everyone out of their mind, interpreted to be this Look between the thing. fingers. Am I an experiencer? Question mark? I don't know. But that's Here, the closest I that? come to that. Strange lights in the sky? Sure. For hairdressers. Ever really banged up about it? No. no. Comfortable in the assumption that what I observed or saw, though unknown to me, was something. A helicopter, a plane, a plane no, of terrestrial a story, origin, Channer. a new plane of some sort of other tricks of the light, highway lights. Remember, the, the question Strange is. things that I looked at and went, huh. The question to the counselor is, has he ever been an experiencer? He's just given testimony to his experience. My lab, no, nothing like that. Something weird, crossing the street, at a party in the mid-1990s while I was off my face. Make of that what you will. Off of his face. What do we have here, my dear? You know, a landline grounded kind of computer doesn't usually go spinning out of control, does it? That's interesting. All right, let's see what we can do if we move it. We're spinning. All right, we'll just make this a short video on Channer's spiritual experience. We'll stop there.